I've had my trusty old Windows 10 gaming laptop for what feels like an eternity. It's been my loyal companion through countless epic battles, thrilling races, and immersive adventures. This machine has seen it all, from late night gaming marathons, to intense multiplayer showdowns, countless video calls, and pushed beyond its limits with heavy editing projects. It's more than just a device, it's a treasure trove of achievements, memories, and victories. But as much as I adore this powerhouse, it's starting to show its age. Once lightning fast loading times, now more like a leisurely stroll. The mesmerizing LED keyboard that used to dance like fire, now is literally too hot to handle. It's clear my beloved laptop has earned its retirement. With a new PC upgrade, what better way to usher in a new era than completing it with the sleek and powerful Windows 11? With its cutting edge features, stunning visuals and seamless performance, Windows 11 promises to take my PC experience to the next level. It's time to say goodbye to the old and embrace the new. Are you ready to join me while I upgrade my beloved Windows 10 laptop to a shiny new Windows 11 PC? Let me walk you through the process and show you how easy it's become. First things first, you'll need your old PC and an internet connection. Don't worry if your new PC isn't here yet, you can still get started. Now, Windows Backup uses OneDrive to transfer your data. By default, you get 5 gigs of cloud storage for free. But if you need more space, you might want to look into Microsoft 365 subscriptions, which are sold separately to your new Windows 11 PCs. There's Microsoft 365 Personal, which gives you one terabyte of cloud storage for one person. And then there's Microsoft 365 Family, which is perfect for multiple people, as it provides one terabyte per person for up to six people. One super important thing is to make sure you're using the same Microsoft account on both your old and new PCs. This is critical for recovering your backup. And that's it. You're all set to make a smooth and exciting transition to your new Windows 11 PC. But Sean, how do I actually back up all my stuff on my old PC? I'm glad you asked. First, go to search bar and type Windows Backup and select the app when it appears. Sometimes just typing back will do the trick. Next, you'll see a bunch of options to back up your PC. You can choose to back up your folders. Video and music are optional, but if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription, you should have enough space to upgrade from the Windows 10 laptop. The backup will remember your installed apps, pin preferences, user settings, and credentials like accounts, Wi-Fi networks, and passwords. Pretty cool, right? Once you've decided what to transfer over, just hit back up and let Windows backup do its thing. This might take a few minutes, depending on how much stuff you want to transfer over, and whether this is the first time using OneDrive or Windows Backup. If you're a frequent user of OneDrive like me, it'll be quick. But if not, chill out and it'll take a little bit longer. When it's all done, you can close the app. If you're planning on trading in your PC, make sure you wipe all your personal information and reset the old device before trading in. When you turn on your new PC for the first time, you'll go through the initial setup process. It's like setting up a brand new toy. Now here's the crucial part. Make sure you log in using the same Microsoft account you used to back up your old PC. Trust me, you won't be able to recover your backup with a different account. Eventually, you'll see a screen asking if you'd like to restore your PC from a backup. You'll spot the one you made right there. Just select it. Next, you can choose what to bring over. If you're like me when you're moving house, you pack everything into boxes, but once you get into your new home, you only unpack what you need and leave the rest for way too long. Not here. A few simple clicks and everything's unpacked and set up exactly the way you left it. Finally, complete the remaining steps to set up your new PC. This will include some system updates and setting up any additional personal preferences for Windows 11. Now that I've set up my new PC, here's what I can expect to see. It's gonna be awesome. First off, you'll notice your desktop background is the same as it was on Windows 10. It's like a familiar friend greeting you. Plus, all the pinned apps you had will be right there on your taskbar, just as you left them. 
when you open up File Explorer, all your files will be exactly where you remember them. No need to go hunting around. Everything's in its place. Your preferences, including accessibility settings, will remain intact, so everything feels just right. In the background, Windows 11 will continue to update and install select apps from the Microsoft Store. It's like having a personal assistant taking care of everything for you. Apps you pin to your start menu and taskbar will be exactly where you left them. Some applications will install automatically, while others will install when you open them up for the first time. For apps installed from third-party providers outside of the Microsoft Store, Windows 11 will either take you to the installation page, or if it doesn't know, you'll see a prompt that opens the search in Bing to find the original app provider. Windows 10 has been out for almost 10 years now, but all good things must come to an end. Mark your calendar for October 14th, 2025, because that's when Windows 10 will bid us farewell with its final support and free software update. If you had fun watching this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay in the loop with all our updates. Thank you so much for watching, and happy updating to the next big thing.